Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Python to MetaTrader to automate your live trading strategy. Imagine you have backtested your trading system on historical data using Python and you figured how to make it profitable. And now you need to deploy it live to trade on the market without too much hustle using the simplest possible way. I would be considering a simple strategy and a demo paper account to show you how this trading bot works from Python, connects to MetaTrader and execute trades live on the market. The Python code and anything I'll be using in this video will be available for download from the link in the description. So you can download the code, modify it and use it for your trading experiments. The strategy example I chose for this video is a simple bullish pattern detection on the daily time frame. So we will detect the bullish and the bearish engulfing patterns. For the bullish signal, we open a long position at the closing price of the engulfing candle and the stop loss is placed at the low of this same candle. In the opposite direction, we open a short position at the closing of the engulfing red candle and the stop loss is placed at the high of this same engulfing candle. For both trading directions, the take profit is placed twice as far as the stop loss. We'll see this in the coding part in a moment. Now, this is definitely not a full trading system, but I'm using it as an example to run and show you how the connection works between Python and MetaTrader. So let's move on to the technical part and see how it works in Python. For this example, I'm using a Jupyter Notebook file, but you might want to run this in a simple Python script if you intend to keep it running nonstop for live trading. So first we need to import the packages. We'll need time, schedule, date time, pandas, and MetaTrader 5. This is very important because it's going to connect to your MetaTrader client. And then we start defining these uh, functions, the helper functions, First one is connect to MetaTrader 5. It does what it says. It's actually going to connect our Python to the MetaTrader. So it's going to launch MetaTrader 5 on your system. The shutdown MetaTrader 5 is doing the opposite. It's going to shut down MetaTrader 5 connection. Then we uh, define the get daily data. Uh, symbol by default is Euro US dollar. The number of candles by default is 10, but you might want to change this later on. So the rates are equal to MT5 dot copy rates from position then you have symbol the metatrader 5 time frame day one so that's a daily time frame and n is the number of candles that you want to download then we cast this into a data frame we put all of this into a data frame a pandas data frame we're casting the df time to date time format and that's it we return data the candles data that we just downloaded from metatrader this function takes the data frame it detects the engulfing patterns, either the bullish one, the bearish one, or it returns neutral by default. Obviously, for this kind of strategies, you don't need 10 candles, so you might want to uh, simply take two or three candles. That would be more than enough to detect an engulfing pattern. Then we have this function, place trade, takes the uh, symbol, the signal, bullish, bearish, or neutral, the data frame, and the lot size. So the size of the trade, by default 0 0.1. So if the signal is not in bullish or bearish, then we return nothing because we don't have any trading signal. But in any other case, we continue to this part of the function. Now we need to define the tick, the symbols, the price. It's an asking price if the signal is bullish. Otherwise, it's the bidding price if we are selling. Then the order type, if it's a buy, if the signal is bullish, or it's a sell if the signal is bearish. Notice that we are using the MT5 order type buy, MT5 order type sell here, because this is what Python will be executing in MetaTrader. Then we define the current row in the data frame. So that's the last candle. And the stop loss price is equal to the current low price if the signal is bullish. Otherwise, if it's bearish, it's equal to the current high of the current candle. The stop loss distance is the difference between the uh, price minus the stop loss price. And the take profit distance is twice the stop loss distance. So that's a take profit stop loss ratio of two. You can change this. You can put it 1.5, 3, 3.5, depending on what kind of strategy you're using. So now we can define the stop loss and the take profit using these two lines. Here we're checking if the uh, symbol is legit, it's uh, available. And then we have this request dictionary that we need to define. The request dictionary is required by the MetaTrader library. It takes action, the type of action, the symbol, the volume, the type, the price. 
stop loss value, take profit, deviation, a magic number. This is typical for MQL5 uh, language. So there's nothing much you can do here. It's just providing a random number to identify the uh, request. Then you have comments, type time, and type filling. So once we define this request dictionary, you go to result, which is equal to MetaTrader5, order send the request dictionary. So that's your order. This is how it's defined. And then it's sent to MetaTrader via this function. And it does return, the function will return if the order failed or went through. This is why we're putting this into the result um, variable. If the result return code is different than uh, done, okay, trade return code done, then the order has failed and we're going to print this on the screen. Otherwise, the uh, trade is placed and we can print pretty much whatever we want. So we can print the price, we can print its stop loss and the take profit for this particular trade. Then we define this last function, run the strategy. So it's going to be a strategy running on weekdays, not on weekends. This is why I defined weekday. And if the weekday is above five, so it's six or seven, so that's Saturday and Sunday, then we're going to print that this is a weekend and we're skipping execution. So it's going to print on the screen something, a message to make sure that the program is still running. Then we define the symbol. We call the function connect to MT5. We download the data. So we get daily data about the symbol, the last five candles, for example, put them into a data frame then print the uh, tail, the last two rows, the last two candles of this data frame. We define the signal variable, which is equal to detect the engulfing signal. We provide the data frame, and then we print the signal, and then we place a trade with a symbol, the signal, providing the signal and the data frame. And at the end, we shut down MT5. So that's what run strategy does. If you're working on the daily time frame, you need to run the strategy once per day. So let's say at midnight, for example. So you need to schedule this uh, function to run once per day. If you're running on the 15 minutes time frame, you need to schedule it in a way that it would run once every 15 minutes and so on. So we're going to see how to do this in a while. But here I'm just testing the strategy. I'm testing the function actually. I'm calling the uh, function to see what it does. So I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to execute this cell. I'm running the strategy. So that's a weekend. I'm doing this on a weekend. So skipping execution. So for now, I'm going to comment this part just to make it run. I'll force it so it would run. And that's what run strategy returns. So good, we're connected to MT5 because I have MT5 installed on my system and it's found by Python. And then we're printing the last two rows, the last two candles, and uh, the signal is neutral. We're not detecting any engulfing pattern here. So no trade signal, skipping trade, and then we're disconnecting from MT5. This is how easy it is to connect to MT5 from Python and apply a trade. If you want to run this nonstop, in realistic uh, scenario. We can run this once per day. So we're going to schedule every day at midnight. We do run strategy. So we call the function run strategy that uses all the helper functions that we've just defined in this uh, code. We're going to run an endless loop. So while true, the schedule is going to run pending. And then we sleep, let's say 30 seconds in between the uh, tests. Now, in this case, you don't have to make it sleep 30 seconds. It can sleep, I don't know, uh, uh, 12 hours or 25, 24 hours. If you are using the daily time frame and you are probing the market once per day, there's no need to do it more than that. Now, for the sake of testing the uh, program, I also scheduled the run every 10 seconds, run strategy, and then while true, schedule run pending, and there's a sleeping time of one second in between the uh, runs. So this function makes the program wait one second, just trying to be gentle to MT5 here, not to flood it with uh, requests. So I could run it now. I'm going to run this cell. It's going to run an endless loop, as you can see. So uh, it will be running every 10 seconds. So here we have eight, nine, and then 10 seconds. It goes to MT5, gets the data, checks the signal, no trading signal, it's not opening any trades, and uh, another 10 seconds, it does it again, and so on. You don't have to print anything on the screen, I just print it for the sake of testing and debugging. You can 
probe the market not every 10 seconds actually you can probe the market every hour for example depending on your strategy and just for the sake of validation we can check the values that are here so it's around 1.17 uh, something 382 I think and when we go here so we do have this same value for the last candle so it's getting actually the uh, correct closing price and the correct open high low and closing prices and the volumes and so on we also have the spread by default it's equal to 10 here I don't know if it's going to change on Mondays or weekdays depending on the trading volumes if you are intending to run this on multiple assets not only the euro US dollar or a single symbol you can provide the symbol as an input parameter here for the function and you can call the function multiple times for different symbols I mean there are multiple ways you can do it and even the scheduler can run differently we don't have to use this type of scheduling there's also a cron scheduler package that works perfectly fine in Python it gives you also more details about the scheduling type the functions you're going to call and so on but if you're looking for the simplest way to start connecting Python to uh, MetaTrader this is your way to go this code is a good starting point obviously you need to install MetaTrader 5 the uh, application but also the package so you need to pip install uh, MetaTrader 5 I do have it installed in my uh, system I'll show you pip install MetaTrader 5 and uh, so the requirement is already satisfied I do have this so you need to do this first so you will get this package and this will be it for this one I hope you guys liked it and found the information helpful if you have any comments any requests this actually was requested by many of the viewers in the comments section so I had to do this one it wasn't my idea I don't use MetaTrader at all recently I'm using just Python so if you have any ideas or you have any specific requests please leave them in the comments section until our next one trade safe and see you next time